G'day, I'm Rowan Leach and I'm with Central West Local Land Services Ag Advisory Team. I'm in this paddock of Benito Canola, just outside of Ballymore, to do some mouse monitoring today. I've just put my mouse cards out, the chew cards, and we're going to leave them overnight and come back tomorrow morning to see what the levels of mice activity are in this paddock. Now, the history in, of this paddock is uh, at the start of the year when this crop was sown, uh, the canola was really hammered by the mice, so we might expect to see high levels here. Uh, there was barley grown in this paddock at the end of last year and it kind of got smashed by hail, which would have meant that a lot of grain got left behind and allowed mouse levels to really build up over, over summer. So we'll just uh, come back in the morning and uh, have a look and see what our levels of mice activity are. The mouse chew cards are just 10 by 10 centimetre grid paper that's been soaked in a mixture of canola and linseed oil for a few hours. I've put them out about 30 to 40 metres from the edge of the crop and then at intervals of 10 metres. It's fine to put them out along a wheel track as it makes them easier to find. Finally, don't forget to put a marker out so you can easily identify where in the paddock you have them. G'day, I'm back again in this paddock of canola outside of Ballymore. Uh, we've left our cards overnight and I've just come back this morning to have a look and see how much of our cards have been chewed. And the good news for this grower is that the cards have been untouched. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that we've got no mice in this paddock, but uh, it gives us a pretty good indication. Other signs that you could probably look for are active mouse burrows, sort of droppings throughout the paddock and in your cereals if the stems and nodes of the, of the plant are chewed. So it's really important that you get out there and start checking your own paddocks. 